Let's face it, anything that's tax-free is definitely better, right? And obviously, if I ask you the question, what's better, a normal unit trust or a tax-free unit trust, the answer might seem obvious. But it's not that simple. The reason it's not that simple is because up to this day, many people have tax-free savings accounts, but don't know why they have them or how they fit into their plan with money. And by not understanding that, they are simply wasting their tax-free investment. How? Find out how and if you are using yours properly, up next. Hey guys, welcome back to Money Talks with me Nabil Khan where we get real in the conversation about money for you to build the right mindsets, habits and education in your journey to financial freedom. If you're new to the channel guys, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of my new videos. So today I'll be covering a massive concept that many people miss when considering these two types of investments and it's costing them a lot of money. So let's first look at the differences between these two accounts and the first big difference is in the name. One of those investments is taxed on interest, dividends withholding tax and capital gains tax and the other is tax free. The second difference is a unit trust has unlimited contributions, that's money that you can put into the investment account versus a tax free account has limitations to its contributions and those limitations are currently 33,000 Rand a year and 500,000 Rand in your lifetime. The third difference is when you take money out of your investment, when you withdraw money. In a tax free savings account, you are only allowed to put in 500,000 Rand in your lifetime. So let's say you have put in 50,000 Rand up to today and you withdraw 50,000 Rand you are still recorded in your tax-free savings account to have contributed 50,000 Rand. You'll never be able to put that 50,000 Rand back in or the contribution value of that 50,000 Rand back in. So if you end up putting that 50,000 Rand back into your investment, you would have been recorded to have put in 100,000 Rand. Versus a unit trust, you can put money in and take it out at any point in time without any limitations. So those are the biggest differences between the two, but the major problem comes in guys when people don't understand what I'm about to show you. The actual difference having no tax makes in your investment. So without getting too complicated in tax talk and definitions in the upcoming scenario, I just want to state here that I have made fair assumptions where necessary in highlighting the overall concept and designing it for you to understand. So basically what you're about to see guys is a direct comparison if you were to take the same money, put it in the same fund and get the same return in a unit trust versus a tax free account over 15 years. Read the disclaimer in the description below explaining why you should only take the concept of what you're about to see. Here we go. Yusuf contributes 2750 Rand per month into a unit trust invested into fund A. He also contributes the same amount into a tax-free account also invested in fund A. He does this every month for 15 years so the return he gets every year is the same. Only the tax-free account doesn't get taxed. So what are the differences? The difference between the two in year one is only 268 Rand, but it jumps to over 1000 Rand in year two and keeps getting bigger and bigger over the years as the tax saving starts compounding. How crazy is that? That in 15 years, there's a massive difference of over 130,000 Rand, all tax-free. Impressive, right? So what's the problem here? I mean, you're probably thinking, how can a tax-free account possibly be bad in any way? Well, here's how. Bad habits, wrong mindset, and no education. Let's say Yusuf just started investing and opened up a tax-free account and contributed 2,750 Rand per month before he had a proper emergency fund or any other liquid savings habits for short-term goals. And like anyone that starts investing, obviously Yusuf has heard that long-term investing is a very good thing, but other than that, he doesn't really have a plan. Four years later, Yusuf is earning enough to buy his first home and notices that he has 161,000 Rand in his tax-free account, and he believes that he can really use the money for this home, and so he withdraws the money but continues his contributions. Because of that, his compounding effect on tax literally starts from that same 200 Rand and has to build up again. 
Five years later, he finds another reason to withdraw from his tax-free account because he has the wrong habits and mindset. And so by doing that, he starts the compounding effect from scratch again. Six years later, he realizes that he cannot contribute more to his tax-free account because he has reached his lifetime limit of 500,000 Rand, but he only has 268,000 Rand left in the account. Now, if we compare the same scenario, had he done it in a normal unit trust, he would have had 256,000 Rand left in his account. Notice how these amounts are similar and unfortunately, the reality is that he has wasted the potential of his tax-free account and there's nothing he can do about it now. And there you have it guys, I hope you understand the importance of this. You know, I get uneasy knowing that there are many people out there that are doing this money in, money out of their tax-free accounts up to the point where they will never be able to put more money back in and that's a complete waste because it's such an opportunity to grow real wealth over time. And yes, allowances might increase over time according to SARS, but basically you should never ever waste this opportunity. Tax-free accounts are long-term vehicles and always, always build your understanding. It's your responsibility and I'll say it again guys, before you make a decision about your future based on somebody else's opinion or thoughts, remember that the real problem or the cons of any type of investment are the mistakes that you will make from not understanding and learning about your decisions in your life with money. And on that note, what did you think about this video? Let me know in the comments below. Smash that like button as it does really help more people see this video. Hit that subscribe button and turn on the notifications so you never miss a video and I'll catch you guys in the next one.